Hey there, this is Peacekeeper Alex and the Psychic War Gamers. Uh, this is going to be Total War Warhammer 3. Um, Radius Mod Lu on the Encore Bretonia Campaign Let's Play Part 8. Uh, so, yeah, we are using uh, a certain trainer and we used it to modify the gold. To resurrect the campaign, we had we had lost two episodes ago, so we tried to resurrect it and uh, just really have a good time to a certain extent. So, Bretonia, fair Bretonia. So, where do we leave off here? Trying to besiege Kankata. Those three armies is one of them. Uh, we're going to continue siege. Uh, Bellacor is creeping along uh, southwards. South of Kankata. So, hopefully we we're able to take that. <coughs> And then we also got to worry about, uh, yeah, the Wood Elves, a massive oracle. They might be attacking there. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna attack or not. So we'll see. My strength and wisdom are yours. The Leon Corps is mustering up uh, an army over at Bordello. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna upgrade our barracks to Rally Field. Level two at Bertolo. The lady grants you safe and passage. We might be able to get close to Confederation soon. Beaumont the Savior. Yeah, it's only thirty one away. So yeah. We will be able to try and confederate with Baston. Uh, turns from now. Quick deal. Shall make. So, I crave. All right. Yes. Ready. Hmm. All right. Ah, oh, we do have some defensive alliances that we can broker. By Sigma's will, come in peace. Sigma's will. With Telebuckland. Yeah, two military alliance. Now. And with Reichland, we can yes, also uh, get a defensive alliance. Indeed. Affirmative. And then a military alliance right. as well, too. So we're allied with Reichland. And we do have uh, a couple other uh, allies as well, Telebuckland, Midland, and Baston. Uh, defensive allies, Zivres, so we have some high elf uh, uh, support as well too. But the Wood Elves, yeah, the Wood Elves are getting a little bit... No peace treaty to be had with them either. 
Sadly. <clears throat> Armor of Brilliance and Sword of Corone. So we still have two um, two missions uh, to complete, but we could also do uh, Ludwig von Uberdorf. Ludwig von Uberdorf joins your faction. Uh, let's see if we move any character to Flensburg. <clears throat> so we can recruit uh, a character. Recruit hero. I think we can. I think we can, I think we can, I think we can. Yes, we can. Damsel. Uh, Melisande Lacerison. Devotee of the lady. Replenish troops? No, we want to go to Flensburg. Lord not moved. Uh, he's out in camp, so we can leave him. We don't need to worry about him. Marcel de Portsol. Uh, he is hunkering at Mass of Oracle, so we can leave him too. He's healing. Uh, Grugzint, we will upgrade uh, Garrison to City Watch. And we'll also upgrade Barracks to uh, Barracks level. Tap room. of the lady be upon you. Mordain Beliveau, uh, we're getting, uh, we're giving Ardent Fury. When the youngest knights in a hundred miles hear that a hermit knight rides to battle, they will march night and day with the hope of fighting alongside such a legend. Plus ten charge bonus, plus three melee attack, plus a uh, three percent uh, speed. Uh, and that's the second level of it. We'll get the next level uh, next time he uh, levels up. Go five times after this, we will give him Pledge to Chivalry as well too. And that's what we want to work on right now, actually, is the vows. Pledge to chivalry. Slay them. Protector of the realm. Yeah, we're going to do pledging to chivalry all across the board. Yeah, it seems to be the easiest one, I think. My blade is ready. Uh, Leon Leon Corps has completed his vows. So he's got the growl vow then. Damage resistance plus 10%, blessings of the lady. Quests. He still has some quests to complete, but yeah. Pledge to chivalry. So we'll go through all our lords and, and heroes. Yeah, there we go. And Francois Louise pledged up twice, so he'll be able to go to questing vow in another three levels. What else? Peasant Proficiency, Worshippers of the Grail, and Famed Hunter. Marcel de Portsal. Commandment available. Recruitment cost down. Outpost at Kemperbad. Outpost at Ubersyk. And then turn. My strength and wisdom are yours.
knowledge from the lady. The servants of the lady want a pilgrimage to holy sites around the realm, a quest of knowledge and faith. They've asked that you donate to their worthy cause. Make the donation. The lady will forever have a friend in Yus. Make the donation. Blessed knowledge. Plus 20% research rate. Yeah, make the donation. Uh, technology. What else can we do here? Improved agricultural tools. Yeah. Midland destroyed. Uncle Stoneheart still hanging around her. Uh, yes. <laughs> Still hanging around, Karam. So we're gonna recruit uh, King's Own Swords, King's Royal Harbadias, uh, Knights of the Birth Sword, and then two units Chevalier, uh, Chevalier Rampants, Foot. Uh, we're also going to recruit five uh, King's Royal uh, Longbowmen. And that's going to be uh, Ekaron, Sebastien, uh, Colt. My reputation precedes me. And Uncle Stoneheart's kind of up shit's creek here. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to declare war on him next turn if he doesn't move. He is raiding us right now for 817, so... Yeah, I should take him out now. For Decisive victory at Concada. Gonna auto resolve this. 5,198 deployed for Bretonia. 1,394 lost with 3,804 remaining. 522 enemy captured. Uh, Shadow Legion deploys uh, 2,063. Loses 2,063. We end up getting. Um, 2,491 gold, 7,547 experience for Timothy Fournier, and 127 zealotry. We also get gold sigil sword, plus 3 melee attack, plus 5 melee defense. This golden sword gifts its users with foresight and speed in combat that no mortal should ever have. Occupy Concata! Protector of the realm. Weaving house and basic walls we will get. So now Bellacor did land, but he's a little bit late to the party. We've taken Kankata, and so he's either going to have to go shore up to Citadel of Lead, or or he's going to attack at Kankata, which is a bad idea. Which is a bad idea. Right, this is off of one of the new mods that's that I'm using right now. Oh... <sighs> Protectors of the realm, those knights who swear fealty to the lady and to the king ride to defend what was and what will be again from right. So the Leon Kors uh, will give him dwarf crafted weaponry some of his uh, retinue. An ancient banner as well uh, for the Knight Errant. Knight's Errant. Hmm. 
Cannot upgrade. So we're out of zealotry. What is your behest? Lord of Garrison were not moved. The Dukedom's nobility. We will upgrade that. If the invaders keep fighting, even believing they can win, it is the noble's duty and pleasure to disabuse uh, them of that notion, usually with a thundering final charge in the name of the king and the lady. Plus 15 charge bonus, plus 10 melee attack, plus 10 armor for cavalry and infantry units with the qu knight's vow or questing vow. Uh, and in deliverance comes often the first sign of reinforcements of horse of the bravest knights sent by the king himself falling from the sky to crush the very center of the enemy lines plus nine percent uh, weapon strength plus ten percent speed for flying units nice Pious. okay what else so for Francois Louis worshippers of the grail for Florence you know Dubois we will give arcane conduits and chain lightning, yeah. Comet of Cassandora as well. Seer. Suzette Achad, uh, Lowborn uh, Militia, Peasant Proficiency. <gasps> and that will be it. Aquitaine, we will build a guardhouse uh, and a, uh, a clothier. It's available. And Busilian. Smithy, I guess. And turn. What would you have of me? Uh huh. Prove the omens. Our enemies' faith in the chaos gods has opened a port of the chaos realms and daemons poured out to help them. Ah! So. Blessings of the lady be upon you. So, now we have to worry about another, uh. Another Shadow Legion army, to a certain degree. Dang portals, pretty much. <laughs> Welcome, friends. Let's hope we, can we will be able to confederate uh, with Beomund the Savior soon. Soon. Uh, we're still working on our technology. <laughs> Improved agricultural tools. And of course, Uncle Stoneheart is still raiding us, and I think I'm going to declare war on him. And be done with it. And wisdom are yours. Protector of the realm. Honor and glory. Declare war. Stay Uncle back. Stoneheart. Uh, we will leave them be. We could hire Gotrick and Felix if we wanted to, but I don't know. I'll leave them be. 
and we will fight this battle. This is going to be uh, Curon against Redhorn Tribe, uh, Bretonia against Beastmen. It's going to be two armies against two armies, but yeah, they Redhorn Tribe has less uh, units. Uh, Ungol Stoneheart, so we got four units of Ungor Herd, uh, six units Ungor Spearman Herd. Two units on Go Raiders, and then you got seven units Chaos Warhounds. Reinforcement armies carrying three Unger Herd, one Unger Herd, uh, one Unger Spearman Herd, one Unger Raider, and one uh, Chaos Warhound uh, unit. And that's, they're going to be taking on <coughs> Morholt Demerit and Sebastian Cote. Uh, two Bretonian generals uh, of mine, uh, three dismounted Knights of the Realm. The Holy Wardens of Le Mestone, uh, Mason Tall, Mason Tail, uh, Bretonian Macemen, two units. They got two units Bretonian Swordsmen, one Men at Arms, uh, two Men at Arms Pole Arm, uh, f two units Men at Arms, two units Spearmen at Arms Shields, got Knights of the Lionhearted, and uh, Wardens of Montfort. Uh, in the second army, they got King's Own Swords, King's Royal Abadiers, Knights of the Burst Sword. Seven units dismounted knights of the realm, uh, four sh uh, chevalier uh, rampants, and four units king royal uh, longbowmen. We're gonna fight this battle. Battle of Marienburg. Saint Control Group Two uh, on the right flank. It's going to consist of the peasant uh, mob. Control Group Two, and the knights. Uh, we can put Control Group One. Treat back our knights. Three dismounted knights of the realm. Dismounted Knights of the Realm are taking on those Chaos Warhounds in the center. Do a calf charge as well. Try to take on that Ungor herd. So, a battle happening in the center. Speed it up a bit. Our general is stuck. Not currently. Uh, but our reinforcements have hit the field. 
We're gonna try and race him over there as quick as possible. Bungles, uh, just, just continue to throw themselves at the Knights. see our part of our first army finally making contact uh, with the enemy on the right flank. Lord has retreated. Uh, he was unable to get himself untangled uh, from that mess. So, yeah. Just have one dismounted Knights of the Realm unit there currently uh, trying to work his way through. Second army has made it on the scene. He's attacking those Ungars. So a huge skirmish still happening in the center. You can see uh, where the initial battle started. Uh, and our three units there still holding the line. Knights of the Lionhearted. Uh, dismounted Knights of the Realm. Uh, taking on those hunger spearmen.
King's Royal uh, Longbowmen doing their work. Uh, they've retreated in the center. The Beastmen have retreated in the center, so we're going to shift uh, those remainder units there uh, to the big uh, to the big fight still happening in the center. And now they're starting to retreat in the center. Yep. We're wavering. Yeah, there they go. They retreated on that side. All that remains is that right flank battle. Ungor heard. forward Uncle Stoneheart's uh, gonna go down uh, eventually and victory they retreat finally decisive victory So 3,922 deployed for Bretonia, Caron, uh, 243 lost, uh, 3,679 remaining with 416 enemy captured. Uh, Redhorn Tribe, uh, Beastman deploys 3,242, uh, loses 2,225 uh, with 1017 remaining. <coughs> Morhold Demerit uh, gets 2,801 uh, experience. Uh, we get Gold Sigil Sword. Um, and 10 zealotry. We're gonna go with gold for ransom captives, 1145. Even though we don't need it. My reputation and a decisive victory on an auto resolve here against Uncle Stoneheart. That remainder gone. Reputation precedes me. I will indulge you. Hmm. And they are, of course, still, still recruiting. Some kings, uh, royal longbowmen. Blessings of the Lady of the Protector of the Realm, Pious. We're gonna see what Bellacourt does this next turn. 
because he does have about three armies and he can maneuver them to Kankata. Um, but yeah, he might just go to Isle of Wights. Mordain Bellavo. Hmm. I think we're going to leave Bellavo here to a certain degree. My strength and wisdom are Science yours. skill point. Morhold Demerit, and we're going to give uh, Worshippers of the Grail. If the lady wills it. For Sebastian Coates, we're going to go Lobarn Militia. And we're going to turn. Priestess of the Lady. Try and retreat here. This is Bretonia. And Orion is offering a peace treaty. For now, I will take that peace treaty, I think. Because I don't see any land that he has. Govan is attacking us at Aquitaine. Wood elves. So, tell Backland destroyed. Blessings of the lady be upon you. So we can get to Bellacor on time. And we're going to fight this battle. <sighs> so Bellacor is bringing to the table uh, one army, Exalted Hero of Corn. He's got some Chaos Warriors, Dual Weapon Chaos Warriors, Great Weapons. He's got some Chaos Warriors, Halberds. He's got some Kurgan Hunter Spears. Chaos Marauders Spears, he's got Marauders of Nurgle, he's got some Marauders Great Weapons, four units of Marauders, a Chaos Feral Manticore, Chaos Warhounds, got some Chaos Spawn, three units of Chaos Trolls. He's taken on two armies, Francois Louis and Suzette Achad. Uh, nine units uh, of Bretonian Macemen, four units of Yeoman on foot, and he got six uh, Knights Errants. Uh, in the second army, four Bretonian Macemen, two Battle Pilgrims, two Battle Pilgrims Great Weapons, uh, they got two Bretonian Swordsmen, one Men-at-Arms Pole Arm, and then they got eight units Knights Errant. So we got some, we got some Knights in this one that we're going to be able to use. Fight battle. This is probably the last battle of this episode.
want selection markers on. So we can see the enemy units. Marauders. Marching forth. Chaos Warriors. And then their uh, Exalted Hero of Corn as well. And Bellicor is trying to move quicker than everyone else. Seconds. There we go, Bowman. Hit those. Hit Bellacore. That's what we want. Is touchdown. He's on the left flank of our line infantry for this first army. He is wreaking havoc. He's not going to go down easy. I want to see this knight charge against these trolls. Oh, yeah. Reinforcements have hit the field. You can see the knights charging. That chaos uh, champion is trapped. Bellicor is still uh, attacking the left flank. over here on the left flank, far side. Got the Kurgan Hunters, Chaos Marauders, Chaos Pharaoh Manticore, and the Trolls. Marauders of Nurgle as well, too. Our Knights are trapped. We need to get them out of there. There we go. We get them out of there. Enemy ward, uh, Lord is wounded, and Bellicor is down. He is out of the fight, and then we're going to see this charge against these trolls. stuck as well too. The left flank's destroyed for, uh, for chaos here. We're gonna move right next door and roll those lines.
So the middle is breaking. Chaos is retreating. See the Knights just racing cross behind the enemy lines right now and just completely manhandling and sending them home. Yeah, there we go. Chaos, uh, Chaos Feral Manticore is in trouble. It's like one of the last few uh, remainder units left on the board here. We're going to see one last charge, one last uh, gambit uh, from Chaos on the left flank. In battle, close victory. Three thousand two hundred and twenty one deployed for Petonia, five hundred and fifty three lost, with two thousand six hundred and sixty eight remaining, three hundred and eighty enemy captured, fifteen twenty seven deployed for Shadow Legion, uh, Chaos, six ten lost, nine seventeen remaining, two thousand two hundred and sixty four gold gained, one hundred and fifteen zealotry gained, uh, two thousand three hundred ninety six experience gained for Francois Louis, Grail Shield as well, we also got uh, two. Uh, we're going to go with uh, unit experience. And now we're going to be able to go to Kankata. My reputation precedes me. The lady wills it. So we're going to do an uh, auto resolve here. We're going to get a pirate victory out of this. 2,668 deployed. Uh, 1,656 lost with 1012 remaining, 152 enemy captured. Uh, 3,024 deployed for Shadow Legion, 2,765 lost with 259 remaining. 2,447 gold gained, 9,008 experience for Francois Louis, and uh, 122 zealotry gained. We're going to go with the, the, uh, the unit experience. 
so there goes that. So we d defeated. That's all the we gained some mount. Perfect. Well com completed, France all the Wii. Lady's Grace is unlocked. And we can get the Green Knight. Yay! So we, we spawn the Green Knight. Green Knight is a well-known figure of Bretonian folklore, stories and poems about him being amongst the most popular in the kingdom, a common character in puppet shows and plays performed for peasants and kings alike. The knight is bedecked in strange ivy-covered ivy armor and intones his famous line, None shall pass. The traditional nemesis of the valiant questing knights of these tales, the Green Knight challenges them to duels so that they may prove their worth to the lady and thus sup from the Blessed Grail. So now he only has one, one region left, Citadel of Lead, and a small yeah. army. So we're going to be able to march on that uh, to a certain degree. And uh, thank you for joining.